Hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And we are flying over the top of the big dig. That is right. In today's episode, we are back here and in the nether and the shopping district to finish and start some brand new projects that I'm very excited about. Consider today's episode to be a mega episode, an episode where we finish some long running projects and strike down these beasts with the opening of the Gasbusters headquarters. And with my swift skills with a bow, we'll strike down this beast. <laughs> And well, oh no, 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 where's my rockets? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Hi, I'm, I'm hiding by a pillar. They're mean. They're mean creatures. That's why in today's episode, we are going to finish the Gas Busters headquarters by building an absolutely amazing thing that I don't want to spoil yet, but we are going to need a whole lot of glass. And I mean like thousands and thousands of pieces. And before you think about it, Etho, no pains. No more. I don't need any more. I've got to stop here with Jelly and thank you guys so much for all the support on the Jelly merchandise we released in the last episode. I am blown away by the support that you guys have shown it and I'm, I'm, I'm just so glad you guys like it and it'll be around for a little bit longer and we have another thing coming after that i've been working on for like two months that i'm super excited about but yeah just thank you well you look at that i think we might have an order so i placed down these signs after my last episode that said you know gas busters hq open during construction mob proofing mob damage repair uh please order today and what do we got here gas busters needed Ooh, that is us please spawn proof the upper part of the nether mansion to improve gold and farm rates ah green is this you i don't think anyone else has a mansion so i'm gonna guess it's you and i'm gonna take this to the next level this place will be protected with the gas busters guarantee also if there's any mob damage on the outside i will fix that courtesy of the gas busters who are you gonna in-game text gas busters hmm we're gonna need a whole lot of glass for this project. So I'm gonna start trading and smelting for that. But also, I wanna meet up with Cub because, well, I need to kill him. Why, you ask? We are gonna kill the balding pharaoh of the far lands? Well, it is because we need his head for the road building competition. And until he shows up, I wanna show you that I have set up a Hermitcraft diamond ledger for the mayor and all the diamonds that I have spent so far. So diamond trees, 61 diamonds. That's an approximate. Concrete, once again, that's an approximate on 50 diamonds for carpet and things like that. Wooden logs, 20. And of course, four diamonds given to Ren Dog for no reason. I mean, come on, Ren's an amazing guy. We had to. Mumbo artwork, you know, when you say five diamond blocks, you sometimes forget that that actually equals 45 diamonds. But I'll be quite honest with you. <laughs> I think that is worth every diamond. Well, what do you think of those diamonds so far? Well spent diamonds or mismanaged funds? Let me know in the comments. The man has arrived and well, he is playing every source of music here in Minecraft. Hello? Oh, you're in there? Hi. <laughs> Ow, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you. It's you. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah. Just that's just on Mac response for me. I'm sorry. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> you did, yeah. Yep, I love this office. It is amazing. This reminds me of Aladdin. Oh, dude, is is this like basically a hot tub or a toilet? That's a toilet. Yeah, that's toilet water you're bathing in right now. I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> uh, dude, you gotta you gotta embrace it. Embrace it. That's true. You gotta embrace it. No, I would prefer a nice hot tub. Hey, Cub, I'm here to kill you. By the way. That wasn't in the budget. What? Oh, what? yes, I need your head. Oh, okay. I thought it was because you were on the most wanted list, but okay. That, that, oh, that, that, you know, that uh, leads me to a question, Mr. Cub. Yeah, yeah. Why am I why am I the bad lad? I'm a great lad. Mad lad. That's a good thing, man. Is it a good Absolutely. thing? I never knew. Doc called me that and I'm like, is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Is this a German thing? I don't know. I was very confused. I've never heard it before. <laughs> I, I consider it a good thing. The yeah. Mad Lad Mayor. I, I like it. It's my new title. Here, I'll give you I'll give you my head. I'll give you my head. Here. Take that. There you go. No, this is Deadpool's head. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here. Here, take this one. Take this one. Oh, wait it says Jevin. yeah that's because Jevin killed that was from the head games we i took that from cleo but she said it was okay so yep that's cool cool all right so uh, i'm just gonna leave now no, and no, uh no, yeah. no 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 come back here no it's gone. Well. he's gone he's gone I'll be the pain and goodbye <laughs>
Oh, rip that. And there we go. We're switching him to his actual head. And I have a question for you at this point. Who is going to win the road building competition in your opinion? So, so far from what you've seen, who's going to win first place, second place and third place? Let me know in the comments. What in tarnation is that? Well, that's not disturbing at all. I got to remember now to wear pants in my office. Ladies and gentlemen, the door bandit is back. That is right. It has been months since my last door disappeared. My door is gone again. But anyway, we're here at the Magical Village, specifically Larry the Snail. And the reason is that I was about to start smelting some sand. And then I remembered that I have got a ton of glass that I was going to use for a project that I never did. And this will work out amazing. I think now that we have everything we're going to need from the overworld, the rest of the supplies are all tucked away in the nether. And something we're going to need to do in the future is do a grind lapse because we are very low on resources. Coming out of the tunnel into the upside down, I never realized that that says upside down. I thought that was just some neat little like graphic thingies. Oh, well, you look at that. I have no idea how B-dubs did that, but that's pretty cool. Great welcome back present. Land here to grab some shulker boxes and those stinky upright pigs. Look, 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 there he is. Look at him giving me the stink eye over there. Killed me for no reason. Oh, I guess I didn't have the gold on. I always forget the gold now. Well, this seems to have done the trick. Putting on my protective clothes, we are now protected from the pig guys. Look at him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Look, he just ran away from us. <laughs> he knows he can't touch with the bubble, but let's throw on our armor and start our first big project. And that is, as I said, the Gas Busters headquarters. And no headquarters is complete without a vehicle. A vehicle shooting out of the garage on its way to its job to defeat the gas that have plagued the upside down. So with that, let's jump into supervised build mode and build out this vehicle and all the beautiful extras that I have planned. So hit it. super fast build mode and we have finally finished the gas busters headquarters equipped with a gigantic smoke cloud coming out of the garage leading to an evil flying fire truck looking super snazzy and i just had so much fun envisioning what an evil fire truck would look like from the nether that is and i think it came out pretty cool and it definitely matches the aesthetic of the fire station you might be wondering what this is back here with the hopper and some other little details well that is where we suck the gas in and recycle them into fuel that allows our evil fire truck to fly looking from above you can see the chains in the horizontal orientation and that just gives the vehicle more motion as if it's flying and the chains are blowing out from behind which 
I think is super cool. And then the ladder is used to attack the gas with the little weapons on the front. Kind of silly to say, but this fire truck is one of my favorite things that I built for a while. And vehicles are always a huge challenge for me to complete. So I'm very happy that this one at least is passable. Now, as for the plume here, that was a pain. A pain to place down all of these glass blocks. And I got like a basic kind of layout of the design. And then I wasn't happy with it. And I just kept adding and adding and adding more and more. So yeah, I think that also gives it a fun element. And I always do enjoy working with glass as it feels as if you're painting with all the colors. Inside of the garage, I've started working out the design in here a little bit. There's definitely more room for improvement and we can do some of that on Twitch. But my second favorite thing here is the fire pole. That is right. Minecraft now has a fireman's pole to slide on down into the rest of your base which isn't done yet but will be well there we are flying fire trucks coming out of the gas busters headquarters looking super snazzy now i want to turn my attention to the overworld and work on the big dig because i got some ideas to finish that backside where it is very very boring and quite ugly so let's fix that and as i was building out the nether fire truck i came up with a couple ideas the first thing we need to do is expand out our nether cart system that is coming out of the nether going into the building and coming out where that's where the track needs to expand so this little portion of the track needs to come out and head towards the future terra factory the debris that is being hoisted out of the big dig needs to go somewhere so we'll need to build some dump trucks and some road networks for the dump trucks to drive onto and maybe even like a seaport crane hoisting off all of the supplies that we are bringing out of the nether so i'm going to start working on those ideas but we also need to meet up with b-dubs I forgot we had a meeting. Uh-oh. It looks like I got uh, an upgrade to my seat down here. Oh, yes. Uh, a little bit of light and a nice little pedestal. It's like a little bit of chocolate. Oh, yeah. This is a wonderful gift. This is making me feel powerful. I always bring love. a gift to you, B-dubs. You always do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you always do. This time, I've brought a gift to you. Ooh. You told me brainstorm, you know. Yes. And come up with some wonderful ideas. And I'm ready to present my idea to you now. Oh, fine. But be not yes. not before the mayor. The mayor speaks with his ideas first. Oh, you have ideas as well. Of course I do. So, you know how some of the people are getting a little unhinged out here, if you will. You know, yes, they're, they're going around. They're, 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 some of them, some B-dubs, mm -hmm. I don't even know how how I'm going to bring this up to you. I'm just going to show it to you. B-dubs, do you see this treasonous? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do see this treasonous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good with words. <laughs> Look what somebody did to our campaign headquarters. I, no, why did I vote <gasps> for Scar? Oh my. There's dissent among, amongst the ranks here. Yes. How could they have done, how could they have defiled me like that, B-dubs? I have been defiled, defiled you. but you know what? I'm yes. a gentle hand and I am going to take the high road by giving okay. back. This is what we're going to do. Okay. We're gonna once again, take the high road from this treasure ridge and rishonin and treasonous. Thank you, thank you. Yes. And we're going to allow the hermits to place their heads on Mount Scarmore, and they can they can feel the power and the glory, and they'll feel part of the land by doing that, and they'll stop being mean to me. Is that a good idea? Best idea? Great that is idea? a fine idea. That is a wonderful idea. I love it, and I love you, and I love what you do. Question: What will hermits have to do to get their heads on Mount Scarmore? Anything particular? Or just they get they get to do it. You're just going to give them free reign to to chisel in, which is very kind and generous as well. We could charge them. Well, see that might that might go. <laughs> is this the is this the opposite direction? Is this why they're they're rebelling and there's treasure it could be. in and around here? It it could be, and I have ideas to feed that hunger and of yours. But Ooh. um yes, but so this is a free that, thing, a happy thing, a nice thing. I love it. I never doubted you. This is a fine idea. They're going to love this. Look at this wonderful land that you you rule over. They're You've so done a happy. Fantastic job. They're, they're so happy. They're, How could they be Trisha ridden in us around here when it looks so right. beautiful, B Dubs? It looks beautiful. It does look beautiful, but some people are Trisha ridden in this. But the, but the thing, and you'll turn that around. I know you will. That's your job. You'll turn mm -hmm. that around. The thing that you can't turn around or haven't been able to turn around is your financial situation. Sure, you have all the diamonds to put into the shopping district, but what about you? 
B-Dips, I'm, I'm poor. I don't like people to know because in my book, How to Be a Mayor 101 for Dummies, it said to yes. always make it look like you have pockets of diamonds and people will follow you and think that, right. they, that, that you're powerful with those diamonds. And, right. And I've just got, I got pockets full of acorns. I have a plan to fix that. When's the last time you made a shop? <sighs> Week three of the season. You would love to make a shop, wouldn't you? I know it's inside you. I yes, got nothing yes, to sell, but to. I want to make a shop. Beat up this is my favorite thing. Aha! Then this solves everything. So we make shops. You make a shop. I mm -hmm. make a shop. We make more shops. We make shops. We sell the shop. Just the shop? Like, like a themed service? Yes, because you are a mayor. You don't have time to stock. You don't have time to stock a, a shop over and over and check and see what my diamonds. You, we make the shop and sell it. This is this is why you are the fill in the blank. The help me with campaign this. captain ex, captain campaign to the captain. Yeah, campaign captain like mayor, to the mayor. Mayor mayor general mayor mayor admiral mm. mayor commandant. Mm. Ooh, I like that one. Mm. Mayor commandant's a pretty good one. Mayor of the commandant. I'll take no. that. Mayor of the condor. Mayor of the Condor. I love who, dude. That actually sounds amazing. I am the mayor of the Condor. And th this is why you hired me as mayor of Condor, because I am a lowly servant. Okay. Mm -hmm. But may I challenge you, you know, a co co owner with me. Cohorts? To cohorts, yes. Cohorts? We start we we start a business together mm -hmm. building shops. You build a shop. I will build a shop. We will build them, we will sell them, and we will share the profits. Oh, what do you say? This is getting me excited. I've, I Ooh. haven't pursued diamonds personally because I'm a man of the people in quite some time. Of course and you I'm are. Quite excited. Vdubs, this is a fantastic idea. I love it. Yes. Oh, good. I'm so glad you waited to hear it. Don't even try it, though. Don't try no, it. Oh, no, you yes. won. GG, GG, you win. Yes. Uh, Back off of my bed. All right. That's so, right. wait, when are we going to do this? Now. Let's build now. Oh. Well, I guess or I'm going to come up with an idea. All right. Yes, I'm excited. So, do you want to do one and I do one and we meet back and, I don't know, yes. make a realty yes. company or something? <laughs> I love it. Yes, let's do it. Oh, viewers, we need a name for this, by the way. All right. All right, B-dubs. I got to get that nap now. Goodbye. See you, fine mayor. You know, Jelly, Beatups has gone above and beyond. From the very beginning, when we were campaigning, till the great mayorship and the seat of power we are now sitting upon, he has always been there with great advice, and I think it is finally time to bestow him the greatest or the second greatest honor in all of Hermacraft, and that is the assistant mayor role. That's right, assistant mayor role, and I think we will bestow him this great honor next time we meet. What do you think? Good idea? I agree. Help me come up with a shop. <laughs> I want to come up with something good that he'll be proud of when we do meet up. So in the comments, hashtag shop ideas. Let me know or tweet them to me or send them in the Discord because I need some ideas. Just flew to the shopping district and found a black shulker box. Black shulker boxes are Easter eggs for Tango's minigame. So within this black shulker box, there are keys that will allow us to enter the game. So together, let's open our first... <laughs> No, no, this is a counterfeit box. We've been bamboozled. <laughs> oh, Etho, <laughs> you are truly the definition of a rapscallion. And, and I appreciate it. I do. That was well played. Well played, GG. What in the world? <laughs> it's like a llama car. <laughs> Isco, what? Oh, oh, dude, these are amazing. What in the world? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about when it came to the road building competition. This is super. It's a dragon head. <laughs> he made like Mario Kart. I absolutely love that. After a few days of grinding, I present to you the nether cart track system all the way from the nether up into the overworld along with a massive seaport inspired crane that will lift the supplies off of our nether carts and onto our logistic area. So we'll build out a really cool area down below where all the supplies are being stacked on or maybe it's some kind of hovering barge that we're putting supplies on. But yeah, giant crane looking absolutely amazing there 
We have track switch signaling devices here for, of course, the nether carts when they come up here, if they're going to head off to our logistics area or they're going to head to the future Terra factory all the way down at the bottom of the track there. But as I said, this took a few days to get it all designed and built here, but I am very, very pleased with the way this all came out and especially with the vision in my mind of how this will all eventually look. So that makes me very optimistic about our future plans here, how this design came out. It's really inspired me for our next series of builds. And of course, we might need a new name for the nether cart, maybe the scar buggy, the scar cart, <laughs> maybe cart E, because some of our robots are named like guardy or pushy or snacky. So yeah, let me know in the comments what a good name would be, because this will do way more in the future. So one last good look at the big dig from above. Now, I'd like to go back to the shopping district before we end today's mega episode of building because I feel like we need to play it backwards with, of course, Etho's counterfeit box. The thing should keep recirculating. All right, where do we put this that somebody will find this and think it's a bit funny? Because I feel like instead of paying it forward, we're gonna play it backwards and continue the uh, counterfeit boxes. So, what? What in? No, 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 what in the world? We, we, Shelly. You're just you're just chilling out here. You, you you didn't warn me that somebody somebody replaced the mycelium throne with diamonds. What in the world? I'll be honest with you. I thought I was hallucinating. I had to go splash some water on my face. It's now 11:41, and I started recording at seven in the morning. And it would not be the first time that I have fallen asleep recording. And well, it's still there. And she did nothing. You'll regret the day, Jelly, that you didn't help me keep these ruffians out of the town hall where they came here to prank. Now, I'm going to keep that ridiculous clip where I found it because I reviewed it and I had a dyslexia attack and I said, I said the, the mycelium got replaced by diamonds. Oh, what a train wreck of a clip, but I'm keeping it. Wow. So b this chair doesn't get replaced. It's just still sitting there all shiny and beautiful. Well, well, mine looks horrible. There's a book up here, so I guess this might explain this. Purple eyes only. All right, buddy. Mayor Scar's eyes only. Okay. I recently have joined an organization called the Mycelium Resistance in an effort to learn their secrets. A attempt, not effort. I told you it's late. I'm willing to sell you information. If interested, place a diamond block in the dumpster behind the boomer store. More info to come. A concerned citizen. Okay. Well, I don't know if that was the person who did this or if that's a legitimate concerned citizen. Huh. Well, here's me thinking that the resistance fighters were just a silly group of ruffians going through a phase in life where they wanted to rebel. Happens to the best of us, of course, even to a beautiful mare like myself. Well, we underestimated the mycelium resistance. So for you out there, resistance fighters, the town hall is now a resistance of the resistance. And you'll be hearing from us. And I'm going to give you one simple word before we close out this video. One simple, concise word. And that is, this is war.